954 is the time right now. We continue to follow breaking news from Montgomery County. Sky Fox Live above the scene of a home explosion along the 23,000 block of Laysville Road. Maureen Ume, live on the ground now with what we know. Good morning. Good morning to you, Wisdom. So a bit of a correction. It's not really a home with residents in it. What it is, actually, it's a business. This is Rupert Landscaping. Uh, this is their office uh, structure where they house their IT department, uh, their, uh, also their um, offices, registrar, HR, that sort of thing. And so you see uh, it's part of a historic building uh, that has been here for quite some time, but you can see it's destroyed, a gas explosion leading to what you're seeing behind me, just total destruction of this front unit. There is a back unit to this building uh, connected by a breezeway that doesn't look to be as damaged but this front part uh, destroyed, as you can see, from a, a gas explosion, we understand. I want to get more details on exactly what happened here with uh, Fire Chief Scott Goldstein here, who has been on scene uh, pretty much since this happened. Chief, thank you so much. I'm going to swing you, just, excuse me, just around this way. Uh, as we look at this building behind us, uh, you're giving us more details. Uh, first question is, what happened, to your knowledge? So we received 911 calls for a building explosion. It, it, evident to us that that is, is the cause of what is the damage we're facing. It appears that an employee reported to the building about 7 o'clock, smelled gas, communicated to the utility company. That utility provider was on scene, and they also made a messaging to their organization not to come to this structure, to everybody stay away from. So at the time of the explosion, we don't know what that uh, triggering mechanism was, but there was three people injured, one of which was inside the building, two of which were outside, and the building sustained significant, significant damage. The person who was inside the building, I understand they were trapped and then eventually had to be medevaced out of here. Talk a little bit more about that. They were inside the structure. First arriving crews located uh, them inside the structure, were able to then put a ladder in, get inside, and assist him into uh, a basket and then get, get them out of the structure. And indeed, they were transported with Maryland State Police helicopter to a tra local trauma center with major injuries. And what about the other two? The other two, one which refused transport, one of which was transported. One had very minor injuries, and the other did have significant injuries. And as we look at the building behind you, it's destroyed. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. Um, you're saying in your career or your experience that this happens every couple every couple of years you see something like this. So luckily, not nothing too common. And we are in pretty much an isolated area, so not too many other people affected by this. Correct. So this is a house that's apparently served by propane. Propane is used when you do not have gas of service along the street. Dangerous characteristics are the same. They operate a little bit differently functionally, but when leaking, the critical point is evacuate the building, contact 911, contact your utility provider. Stay out. Chief, thank you so much for that. And I just want to leave people again with the shot of the house, as you see here. It is destroyed uh, with the gas explosion today. Three people injured. One of them appears uh, more severely than the other two. Uh, but just a, a mess here this morning. Uh, investigators obviously going through to make sure that all is well. It looks to be uh, that things are pretty well secured, if you can call it that. The road in front of this home has been reopened right now to traffic. But again, a long investigation underway here. This is, again, the Rupert Landscaping Company that was housed here. Their office buildings, uh, apparently, uh, right now, that took part front part of the building destroyed the back part in better shape but no one allowed inside uh, because of what's happened here today we will of course stand the scene and if any more developments for sure pass them along to you but for now that is uh, pretty much the latest in what's happening here in Laytonsville as a glass explosion has leveled a, a building here that has housed a landscaping company back to you guys in the studio